what what are what do you guys see as the threats to to Ethereum? I mean, is it is it Solana? Is it Cardano? Is do, are any of these really in the same? Uh, like, do they like do any of them really have potential to put a, a serious dent in Ethereum's current pull position as it relates to you know being an application based layer? Well, you're absolutely right. Like usually in technology circles. It's the belief is that uh, when a product has is very sticky and has a lot of like product market fit, um, a lot of users and momentum, something has to be like 10x better um, for people to switch. Ethereum has a huge first mover advantage. It's on every major exchange. Um, when people build stable coins, like Gemini is built the Gemini dollar a stable coin, you start building it on Ethereum. Um, there's so much building that's been happening there um, that like that's where you want to go because that's where eyeballs are. The, the thing that has to happen though is, is scalability and throughput. It's ability to process like many transactions um, cheaply. So right now, um, because that migration, to, so Ethereum 2.0 or Ethereum 2 is, is um, promises to solve this and that migration is happening. But right now, um, there can be so much excitement that if, if things get hot or there's there, Ethereum can, can fall victim to the weight of its own success. So transaction prices go through the roof when there's a lot of activity and people are moving through different projects. So um, it, if it doesn't scale or make that migration successfully, which I do believe it will, then that could be a problem. Um, and, and just to, to build on that, Tyler, to take like the other side of, of, of you know, oh, Ethereum, it's sort of theirs to lose. If you look at the operating space, there are a few major operating systems around the world. You've got um, OS, iOS, Android, Linux, um, Windows. So it, it is not a, it, it's not just sort of one um, operating system. There are, you know, network effects for sure, but, but we do see a couple of really big systems, uh, at least in computing. And so it is possible that, that some uh, newer uh, layer one protocol says, hey, we're going to start at proof of stake. We're going to make a better uh, uh, smart contract language. It's easier to program, more secure. Right. I think Tezos is an example of a project that launched with these things from, from day one. It hasn't had the same uptake, at least yet, as Ethereum. Um, maybe Solana is up there as well. I, I'm not as familiar with that project. But, but, but I think that there are, there's going to be opportunities for other people to enter the race with, with potentially a, a 10x better uh, uh, project, but I think I think to, in in my mind it's 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 a question between either winning all or winning winning a very very big chunk of an enormous pie. I think it's in either case it's an incredible long term hold. The question is how how incredible, what varying degree of incredible. Yeah.